Forecast for the weekend, sunny, warm. We're going to continue that, so good news there. This is our Distillery District live camera, and we've got visibility that is down into some of our Western counties as you head back to the west around Frankfurt and also down to the southeast towards Harlan. Watch out for fog, but the good news is the max track is clear. High pressure off to the northeast, low pressure dropping into the Great Lakes, and it's getting kind of crispy out there. If you look at the rainfall total since the beginning of September, this is one of our driest times of the year, so it's not a surprise that this is happening, but we've had 1.37 inches of rain for the month. We're already halfway through the month, but we're only running a three-tenth of an inch, 0.32 uh, inches uh, deficit there, and we're running an over two-inch surplus since the beginning of the year. So. We could use a decent shot of rain. Unfortunately, it's just not in the cards or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, because it's, of course, the weekend coming up and that high is still holding. So it is going to be nice and quiet. Cold front approaching everything just pretty much running up against and then eventually over that ridge shunted off into the Great Lakes along that active storm track. So we are free and clear all the way through the weekend, which means for the UK game tomorrow as they take on Youngstown State University. Should be sunny, should be beautiful. We should see highs in the mid 80s. And since it's a noon game, you'll spend the entire afternoon out in the sun. Just be aware of that and, uh, you know, uh, dress accordingly. Take a big old floppy hat or some sunscreen if you're uh, susceptible to a sunburn there because it's going to be a very summery setup this weekend. And then you get into next week. This big trough digs into the Pacific Northwest, some relief from the heat for them. But by the middle of next week, we could have record heat, this big heat dome setting up, so a continuation of summer, essentially. And we're going to be running the eastern edge of the core, the worst of the heat, but we could easily get into the low 90s here, even hotter into western Kentucky, some near record highs for them. And uh, it's just right before the autumnal equinox, the beginning of fall by the calendar, September 22nd, next Thursday. So, yeah, uh, we've got uh, quite a bit of heat leading up. Uh, to the official start of fall there. It may not be feeling much like uh, pumpkin spice latte weather there but by the middle of next week. The heat's still going to be on. We're in the 50s now. It's a coolish start to the morning, 54 down in Richmond. And there you can see that gradual climb from the mid-80s this weekend to the upper 80s around the low 90s by the middle of next week. And that will be the pretty much peak of the heat before things start to back off again as the front drops in here. I don't know that it'll bring much rain, but it could at least bring uh, some cooler temperatures into that following weekend. So we're still talking about this one. We're in the mid 80s for your Friday, sunny and warm, a beautiful afternoon after we get rid of that little bit of uh, patchy fog that we've got this morning. It should be a, a great day tonight. Pretty much the same thing we've been doing, not quite as cool. We'll have some outlying areas in the 50s. We'll drop down to around 60, clear skies, and again, that potential for patchy fog late. Eight-day forecast shows that, yeah, well, again, very little in the way of rain on the way. Monday, Tuesday, we've got isolated shower and storm chances, and then again next Thursday and Friday. Uh, but the overall setup is fairly quiet, and for the game tomorrow, beautiful weather, highs in the mid-80s, and that sunshine I was talking about. Now into next week, this is where you want to watch out. We will have highs getting into the low 90s and it may be more than one day before we finally see some relief heading into that upcoming weekend. And again, that heat will be the worst out west. If you got any uh, neighbors or family out in that direction, tell them they've got some hot stuff coming as well.